Hey, thank you for coming by Tori Magoo 44 again. It's good to see you all. Happy Saturday. Once again, the Church of Scientology, a Scientologist, has violated someone's human rights. And I noticed over on Xenu.net, someone had posted on December th or, um, September 13th that in the LA Times, the Church of Scientology was jogging for human rights. And we all were discussing, it's like, come on. Yes, they have a decree of a Church of Scientology. Man has the inalienable right to free speech and free thought. However, they leave out the portion that if they've decided to declare you a suppressive person, which uh, this is my suppressive person declare, right? And each person, there's thousands of them out, there's thousands of us out here now who are declared suppressive. And many people who are never even part of the Church of Scientology are declared suppressive. None of those people are considered in part of their human rights, right? We have no rights as far as they're concerned. They, you know, we're not, they're not allowed to talk to us. Hubbard said you can lie, cheat, steal, destroy someone utterly. Today, I want you to think about this hard. Today in Halifax, an anonymous person was picketing and someone hit him. A Scientologist. They're getting more and more violent. Why? Because they're losing. They're melting down. Anonymous and critics and ex-Scientologists are being extremely effective. More and more people are leaving. More and more people are speaking out. Anonymous is continuing in various different ways. And every time they do, and every time the critics do, and every time an ex-Scientologist does, it makes fantastic results because other people hear it and more people are lurking on the internet and Scientology who started with Bill Yachty and me opening up their stupid phony accounts and I was doing it in the 90s right not knowing they were trying to stop free speech once I put that together and connected the dots I left Scientology forever but I know they have their organization on the internet actively every day trying to Put people like me down, trying to distract people off of Scientology, trying to make you feel like you're not doing the right thing, that they're really great. Yeah, they're jogging for human rights. You know what? You can take your human rights and stick it. You know, come talk to a bunch of the families who aren't allowed to talk to their children. Is that human rights? Where is human rights in that? A child can't talk to their mother or father. That's ridiculous. That's pathetic. You know, I, it, it's, it's really and truly, it should be criminal as far as, as, far as I'm concerned. It's horrible. It, it's worse than horrible. I've talked to many of the families, and it's an extremely painful thing. And then to have Scientologists hitting people that are picketing, and you want to jog for human rights, you can jog all the way around the, you know, from here to Santa Monica and back. And it isn't going to mean you're for human rights. You can fly in people from all over the world. You flew in a bunch of Buddhist people, you told us. I was at FLAG when they were declared these are real Buddhist monks who are here. And what do you know? They all decided L. Ron Hubbard was the real Buddha. And I was in Scientology at the time. And you know what? I sat and I thought about it while I was in. And I thought, this is horseshit. I don't believe this. I was a Buddhist before I became a Scientologist. And I don't believe these Buddhist monks think L. Ron Hubbard is the real Buddha. I don't. And I still don't to this day. I think they were phony guys that they got dressed up, brought them in, and, you know, they were actors. That's what I think. But whatever it is, Scientology, you need to stop the violence because it doesn't work. You know, I told you when I was in, you are creating your own enemies. And I'm going to tell you again today. I've been out almost 10 years, 9 years now. And you are still, today, creating your own enemies by doing these harmful things. And it isn't okay just because Tom Cruise is in there or John Travolta is in there. That doesn't make it okay for you. To, and, and the media, I say to you too, get on this. You know, what's the deal? You know, it's okay that David Miscavige, the head of the Church of Scientology, is beating people up and a number of ex-Scientologists are out here or people that have left the Scientology and spoken about it and nobody picks it up. 
it's just kind of okay that that's happening. No, it isn't. It isn't okay. And people like me are going to keep mentioning it. And I'm kind of counting on you guys to make a story of it. You know what I mean? It's something that should be made known. Look into it. Do your investigative work. Instead of hearing us hearing about Britney. Okay, we've heard about her. Great. She's a good singer. Okay, but what about this other stuff? It's very good. It would be a very juicy story. And I think it, there's a lot of truth in it. You, you need to look into it. Journalists, you know what I mean? Remember journalistic investigation? That used to be what the media was before it got into all this, like, um, you know, celebrity kind of thing. Let's get back to some real journalism, and you guys look into it. In Scientology, I told you before, stop creating your own enemies. All right? And to everybody exposing their abuses, thank you very much. You are doing an excellent job. Have a fantastic weekend. I'll talk to you soon.